happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Texan PL380. This is an AM, FM, long wave, short wave portable radio, which I'm going to use tonight to do an evening medium wave band scan. Core features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, then we'll cruise the evening band. So let's check out the radio, Texan PL380. It's got quite a following. It's a good beginner shortwave radio. I'd put it right there with the 310ET. I tend to recommend that one more than this one, but uh, this one has its merits also, so let's take a look. Left-hand side, we've got a carry strap. Nice. We have a headphone jack for FM stereo reception. Here we have a mini USB in to charge nickel metal hydride batteries if you have those installed. This radio can run on alkalines or rechargeables and you can change that mode, which is nice. On the front of the radio, we have a speaker here. Up on top, we have some buttons. We have a light button. You can see it's amber side lit. And of course, that's snooze for your alarm. Lock button, time set, alarm set. Power button, sleep function. We have a display function button here. If you press this when it's off, it shows alarm time and temperature. When the radio is on, it shows temperature, alarm time, local time, and signal noise ratio, which we'll use to show how strong the signal is we're receiving. Down here we have FM stereo and uh, backlight off, so you can turn that side light completely off, which is nice if you don't want to waste the batteries. Over here we have four pretty important keys. ETM, uh, easy tuning mode. This is really nice when you're on vacation. You don't want to uh, ruin your home presets. You just hit this button, it scans the band you're on, automatically saving them in a temporary storage area, and you can delete them or change them as you need to without affecting your main presets. You got 550 presets on this radio, 100 on every band, except for shortwave gets 250. So here we have view frequency mode, view memory mode. Just know view frequency is for normal tuning and view memory is for going through your presets that are saved. Down here we have AMBW, that means bandwidth control. This is a major button. We use this to fine tune our signal on shortwave and medium wave. We can get really good music sound, and we also really find those faint stations by turning the bandwidth down to, like, down to one or two kilohertz. Really nice. We have a numeric entry keypad. You'll notice orange writing above. Uh, that's uh, secondary functions when the radio is off. You can set the FM band. I'll show that to you in a little bit. Uh, here you can set the clock for 12 hour or 24 hour. Right now it's currently 24 hour, as you can see on the display. 9K, 10K switch there on button three. Down here on M for memory, uh, this is the battery mode. Over here, zero, you can turn a beep on and off. I don't like the beep myself. <laughs> uh, we have a confirmation key and delete key. Then we have our band buttons here. We have FM, medium wave, long wave, and short wave. And of course you see ATS, that means auto tuning system. You can also press and hold these keys and automatically save and store to your main presets. I nice set up, and of course your display, which I showed you, you'll notice it has a, the clock showing. Right now I have the temperature showing, and right there's a battery level indicator, and it has the uh, set for the nickel metal hydride. Nice. If your alarm was set, it would show under timer. Right hand side of the radio, we have tuning wheel and volume wheel. Top of the radio, we have our FM and shortwave antenna. On the back, we have a kickout stand, and it has our band information, FM 88 to 108. If you notice, FM is expandable. That's what that one button was for. You can set it to 64 to 108, so you have full coverage of FM. A medium wave, we have uh, 9K or 10K. In long wave, you have 153 to 513. And short wave, 2.3 to 21.9 megahertz. Not bad. There's a little stand, a little serial number there. It runs on three AA batteries. It lasts quite a long time. Right now I'm using some EBL high capacities. I really enjoy these batteries. They're very affordable and they do a great job. I've been using all my radios with no issue whatsoever. Go put this on here. Of course I use on loops and I have other brands I like to use, but uh, EBLs find their way into my radios more often than others. All right, let's flip this back over. Let's do a quick size comparison and turn these on and do a little scanning. See what we can find on the EM band. So, I like to recommend the 310ET as the main go-to radio. The reason why I like the 310ET a little bit more is the bigger speaker, as you can see. I like the display. It's a little shinier, a little easier for me to see. 
Uh, it's got that silver behind the LCD. I like that. Another nice thing I like about the 310, it has a jack for the FM and shortwave antenna wire. This you have to clip to the antenna mast. Not a big deal, but it's there. Another nice thing I like about the 310ET is the tuning knob on the side versus the tuning wheel. Uh, it just feels more natural. One thing I do not like about the 310 is its buttons. That's where the 380 excels. It has nice raised buttons. Um, definitely makes this easier to operate with the buttons. Liking that. Also, we have other radios. We have CC Skywave in-house. I don't think I set the clock on that. Well, yeah, I did. Okay. Just making sure. Um, current time is 9.57 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Just add six hours for UTC. And then we have CC Pocket to give you an idea how big this radio is. Um, good little radio on the medium wave. Loving it. Did some daytime scanning. Did a great job. Here's the deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves shortwave radios from Texan land. <laughs> he's Iron Man. There you go. You get an idea. All right. So let's turn this on and see what we can hear tonight on the medium wave band. I'm going to zoom this on down. And I'll mess with the bandwidth controls maybe a little bit. Maybe we'll also bring in a passive loop if we need to. Typically you don't have to, but we'll see. Turning it on. Signal noise ratio. Our band, or our frequency, I mean. Kilohertz, and our band we're on. Digital volume control. It has a fast low tuning. Takes some getting used to. I still zoom past my stations and I have to go back, so bear with me. Okay, that's a rare thing to get the call letters for the station. Very rare. Uh, CHLO, 530 Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. That was a special thing that happened just there. <laughs> cool. Can't hover on the music, even that music, believe it or not. <laughs> Got some Monday Night Football, I think. Here's that bandwidth. Getting mixing stations. Getting music here uh, to the west. That's interesting. Or to the east, depending. Uh, this is WAUK, uh, Jackson, Wisconsin, this way. But this way... I'm getting something else, because uh, uh, usually it's a sports station facing uh, north or south. Cool. Usually this direction is CBK, which is Watra, Saskatchewan, which is a thousand miles away, which is one of my farthest stations I can pick up with a medium wave radio. Medium wave radio. On the medium wave with the radio. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Let's keep going. I feel like that cook, you know, that chef, who, they make the food and they're drinking the wine. <laughs> but I don't have any wine. Darn it. Mixing stations. Okay, we'll keep going. Usually get St. Louis there. Caribbean coast threatening catastrophic damage to the same part of Central America hit by hurricane. Here's 560 WIND, Chicago. Slow tuning's not bad, going one kilohertz. That's a fine tune. Okay, they're getting multiple stations here. I was just waiting to see if I got some call letters. Usually this is WTCM, uh, Traverse City, Michigan, 215 miles away, 1,000 watts. That would be one I would hover on and wait. 
WKZO, uh, oh wait, this is a KX, KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles, 5,000 watts. They air the uh, games. It's going good. Here's WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles, 5,000 watts in the evening. I think he was just happy to get the ball off of his foot. Of course, for those who don't know anything about uh, AM or medium wave and are curious and the first time seeing this uh, radio in action and don't know much about portable radio, there's an internal built-in antenna. That's what's picking up the signals and it's a lays like across here it's like a long ferrite bar wrapped with coil a coil or wire and uh, you aim that horizontal edge towards the station to get better reception that's why I keep turning it some people ask <laughs> most of the people watching my channel know that but a uh, few don't let's keep going Bears are going to lose again. That's Chicago. I live near Chicago. <laughs> WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There you go. 52 miles away, 10,000 watts. Though it's always weak if I turn it away. Definitely not aimed at my house. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, we're getting mixing stations again. I'm hearing country music. That's CFCO, Chatham, Ontario. 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Sometimes it comes in nice and crystal clear. And then if I turn it, I usually pick up talk radio out of uh, St. Louis. Right there. KYFI. 275 miles away, 5,000 watts. Okay, this is uh, Just Make It Out, Hispanic Music on 640 WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, 75 miles away, 1,600 watts. Okay, 650 is WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Usually comes in pretty good for me. faster. Let's go 660. Tyler Bray is in the backup tonight. Called off the practice squad because Trubisky is injured and out with a shoulder. He was inactive. Okay, this is WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles, home of the Yankees, but they're also um, watching the some, uh, Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football, of course, everywhere. It's kind of nice. Back. About us is having lost three of their last four games, and head coach Pete Carroll. Here's 670 the score, WFCR, Chicago. That's what's killing them. I'm worried about, about the fact that it's so much in this game, you know. When you rattle off those other pandemics uh, and, and health emergencies, it doesn't matter what political I'm not sure the 680 here. Uh, usually it's CFTR, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, but that's it's this way. And my signal worsens. I'll see if I have anything written down. If I do, I'll put it here. If I don't, maybe you guys can help me out. This is facing uh, northwest, southeast. Or uh, sounds like football, CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. Fun little radio. Great, because he's got so 
much. It is, you hear the pitch of the speaker isn't that bad either. Um, 700. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. A little quicker here. K720 WGN Chicago. Sometimes I pick up country music. 730. I think it's CKDM. Duffy, Manitoba. Sounding good. That's uh, Ziggy uh, Stardust. This is CFZM, Zoomer Radio, 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always a treat to listen to at night. Now a spring romance. He ended up getting out of jail and fled the country. And the second he got out of Thailand, just WSB, Atlanta, Georgia. 630 miles. On the trip advisor with you at this minute. The sources point out that Bill Gates also on stock and cycle. Here's 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. There cannot be any foreign interference. IRGC, because they now know that they're exposed, that they see once again that. WABC 770, New York, New York. WBBM Chicago, home of the Bears. <laughs> They're going to, of course, have the Bears game. Seven ninety could be W A Y Y, Eclair, Wisconsin, two hundred and thirty miles, five thousand watts. Country music, sweet. Oops. Here's a 10, uh, Albany, New York, WGY, 740 miles. I'll bring our loop in real quick, just to see if it improves the reception. I'm going to use this Turk advantage. Let's see what happens. Improve the game, but not really the reception. Works better during the day. So you may not use the loop as much in the evening. Okay, let's keep going. Oops. Zipping past these stations so quickly with that. Okay, WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. And a third string quarterback for his. The radio. Yeah. Which was unplugged. So the radio would speak to him and then tell him to commit suicide? 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, ground zero during the evenings, uh, weekdays, and then of course coast to coast later. Uh, not long after he'd had. Oral surgery under Just picking up a hint of KOA Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. 
Show. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui fait parce que vous avez créé Victor Lessard, Jacinthe Taillon, donc interprété par Patrice Robitaille et Julie uh, Le Breton. À la CJBC, 860 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. One of the few French speaking stations I'll pick up on the medium wave at night. There are a few others, but they're pretty rare to find. Eight seventy WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, eight hundred and sixty five miles. Coming in good. Really good division, but those teams are gonna have to play each other moving forward. The East, we know they're not gonna have two teams. They're gonna be lucky to get one team, even though they Okay, this may uh Improve. This is 880 WCBS, New York. New York, New York. Oops, past 890, it's WLS. Always has a high pitch whine, but I found out something here with this radio. Their party is the state. You can tune it one off down, and that high pitch whine goes away for my camera. It's nice. Uh, WLS, Chicago. An independent Supreme Court. That's intolerable. They must control the the legislature, the Senate. They must destroy the way we vote. Nine hundred, sometimes they get old time radio on CHML. Let's go up to a nine ninety here. Just a lot easier. Always comes in strong. CBW. Talking about provinces. Yep. Uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. 675 miles. There's WMVP, Chicago. I'm going to go a little faster. <laughs> Since I spent a lot of time at the beginning of the video, it's still fun. You can always revisit this radio if you want to. Just let me know down below in the comments. Also, check out the uh, description. I'll have uh, links to this radio. If you really like the 380, get it before it's gone. It's definitely a worthy radio still, even in today's market. Here's uh, 1020 KDKA Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. The English speaker here is uh, WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. The music you're hearing is from a local station. Unfortunately, it's still transmitting. Here's WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Here's KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Go right to 1100. Uh, ground Zero again, sounds like. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Should be KFAB, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles. He passes away at the age of 82. We're happy to remember him tonight on Overnight America. I sat down and we had an interview in February. 1120 KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. There you go.
Just picking up WRVA Richmond, Virginia. 665 miles. Of course, you just wait and the signal will improve. For those tuning at night. An offer like this can only be made by Marina. For details, call 1 866 202 9539. Come to Marina G. Finn Webster or see us online at marinaautogroup.com. 2020 has taught us to make room in our lives. Here's Wham, WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. I like my junk. <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. Okay, now I'm just gonna go quicker. That's what they call the graveyard band. It's kind of hard to find. It's all a lot of low power stations mixing. Might get some locals, might get some semi locals. So we're up to 1400s here. This should be something on 1470. Let's see. I use 1470 for coast to coast sometimes when I can't pick it up on Louisville for say they're having bad storms. This is a WMBD Peoria, Illinois. 135 miles, 5,000 watts. It's not coming in good right now. Let's see what's going on in Nashville. Or, yeah, this is Nashville. WLAC. Uh, they have like a medical show at this time of day. Um, evening. <laughs> Uh, let's see, 434 miles. Mixing stations. Usually it's WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. That's the gentleman talking. Uh, KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles, directly west of me. Let's go up to 1610. Usually this comes in clear. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Music here. That's KCJJ, the mighty uh, Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles, 1,000 watts. That's cool. This thing's pretty strong at the top of the band, which is good. KCNZ, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles, 1,000 watts. Here's uh, KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. There we go. All right, we'll turn this off, do some final thoughts. So, yeah, the Texan PL380, is it worthy uh, in today's market? Um, yeah, I would say go ahead and get one. Uh, if it's under 50 bucks, it's totally worth it. There's a Texan PL330 coming out, which includes single sideband for shortwave, and a lot of people believe that a radio should have single sideband. And that radio is supposed to be under 80 bucks, but it uses a non-traditional um, battery power that like the radio wow uses. Uh, radio wow is a fun radio. A lot of people have it and a lot of people love it. Um, I like it. I recommend it to some people, uh, depending on what they want, because this does have air band. Uh, and it has full shortwave coverage, except it doesn't have single sideband. It takes a BL5C battery. And if you notice, sometimes it can swell. My battery door doesn't want to close. Um, they're inexpensive. They don't run as long, so run time is a bit shorter on this radio, so you have to have spares with you. Uh, the AA's in this radio are going to last a lot longer. 
Uh, it's just preference. Uh, I'd still recommend this to a beginner versus this radio. Uh, it's just me. But the radio, while there's nothing wrong with it, and again, Texan's coming out with a, a 330, which is supposed to be a neat model. I'll review it, but this radio is still worthy uh, in today's market, and so is the 310, which I recommend most of the time to everybody, 310ET, if you don't mind the flush buttons. That's its biggest down. I, the buttons are a little harder to use. Um, this, like I said, this is nice. There's a premium feel with the buttons. There you go. Alrighty, so hope you enjoyed this video of the evening band scan of the medium wave with the Texan 380. I enjoyed making it. It's a really, really sensitive little radio. Plus, it was good conditions. Give me a big like if you like the video. Two, if you love Texan radios and you want to see reviews and band scans, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. Yeah. And of course, three, comment below. We think about the PL380. Is it viable? Is it something you'd want in today's market or the other radios that you'd prefer? Um, this is a great little pocket radio. Enjoyed it. Glad I brought it back out. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.